Hi, I'm Jay Peters and I'm from Harcourt Unite. We're on site today at number seven Resolute Court here in the beautiful suburb of Newport. We're gonna do a video walkthrough for you guys, so let's go through. But at the moment, really good size driveway here. Just gonna take you over to the side of this particular property, which I think is a very good benefit for you buyers that may have a boat camper trailer or any toys. Really good space here. So you've got 14.7 meters from this wall here down to that brickwork return. Uh, that return area there, you're looking at 3.3 meters and then obviously it reduces down to the gate access as well, which is slightly smaller at about 2.3 or 2.4 meters in access down to the rear yard. It's a beautiful street. It's my lovely wife. Just want to give you a pan around just to give you the idea of how we are situated. Obviously it is in a cul-de-sac, which is great. Just going to take you through the property here and just going to give you a bit of an idea. Double garage, 1989 build. The owners built this property. It is modified from a, a design that uh, they had put forward. Some lovely slate tiles here. You will see that we are coming through to the entrance. There is some double brick walls through this property. So structurally, it is fantastic. Got the garage on the side here. It's just full of storage stuff, so we won't go in there. Just a bit of a storage unit here for you. Understair storage. Pan around to a really good size lounge room. This one's got great uh, living spaces, beautiful bay windows here that wraps around to your traditional formal dining space, which is quite good. Coming through this archway here, as I said, the double brick walls here, fantastic size kitchen space, really good size area here. It is original inside and the kitchen here, I believe is around four meter island bench, which is quite large. Coming through, they had a, uh, a pool table in here, so this dining space is quite large. Um, so you've also got this meals area here, and depending on what you wanted to do with this space, could be good for a sitting area, or just keep it open as we have got it. We've got some really nice windows here that do out, wrap around the outside of the home. I'll just go through to the rumpus room. So again, another fantastic living space or media room as we call it today. Fantastic size room. We've also got a bar here, complete wet bar. So as you can see there, we've got the sink and stuff there for you and really nice brickwork there. All this shelving and stuff will be staying with the property. And also they've got the front space there for the fridge, as you can see. Coming back through on the left-hand side here, we do have the laundry, little puppy's little bed there. Nice storage area there, traditional sort of laundry area. And also we do have a, uh, a toilet here for you and also vanity there for you as well. Coming around, which I think is a great idea. They're using this as a study, but it is definitely a fifth bedroom option because you do have the wardrobe on here as well. So depending on how many people you've got living in this house, you do have that uh, toilet on the other side and quite easily could do conversion in there to have that as a full working bathroom. We'll take you upstairs, original carpet, original paint. Take you through to the first bedroom here at the stairs. There is a walk-in linen, which is quite good. All the new modern houses have got this. So this one was a little bit ahead of its time. Air conditioning unit there, you can see. Good size bedroom, king size bed in here for you. And also into the his and her walk-ins into your ensuite, shower, bathtub there for you. Toilet, good size vanity area, so it's a good size. Now we do have these shade blinds here, but there is water views out there. Just hard to see, obviously, with the camera. Take you through to bedroom two. Again, a good sized bedroom. Plenty of space here. Cupboards, fans as well. Nice timber balustrade wrapping around this void area. Again, a good sized bed. This looks like a queen size bed. And we have the wardrobe. So it is in original condition. So depending on what you wanted to do with it, paint carpet blinds are usually the things that most people look at. 
Obviously the wet areas are still in good condition, but could do renovations on that quite easily if you wanted to. Separate toilet, which is great. And we also have the last of the four bedrooms upstairs. So four bedrooms upstairs and the fifth bedroom optional study downstairs for you. Just go back down, take you outside. Really good, expansive outdoor area here for you. Fairly large in the undercover space. Some nice pavers put down here. You've got the barbecue on this side. As I said to you before, we do have that side access here. I think it works out to be about 2.3, give or take. Um, so you still got access through here to this really big yard. So 840 square meter parcel of land. So plenty of space, options for pools, shed, even possibly a granny float. Obviously all those things are subject to council approval. Um, and that would depend on what you wanted to do. There is a small garden shed there in the corner. And this is probably the most unique thing about this particular property is we do have a easement that runs to the canal. So it is a dry block, but it's actually classed as a dry block, but with canal access. So as you can see here, there is a 99 year lease on this. And obviously subject to any approvals, you'd need to speak to council about the options of trying to use this space a little bit better. But if you do have a little tinny or canoe or something, you'd be able to service this accessed area quite well. Well, there you have it guys. Number seven Resolute Court here in the beautiful suburb of Newport. If you want any more information about this particular home, I'm Jay Peters. You can call me on 0404 999 593. Thanks for watching and have a great day.